Johannes, what did King of Norway say to King of Biathlon? <laughs> uh, some things is uh, just a secret between the kings. So uh, uh, we had a good conversation, and uh, uh, he really enjoys uh, he enjoys sport and he enjoys biathlon, and he really likes when the Norwegian wins and make a show. Uh, so today was a perfect race for him, and yeah, he was happy. And when did when did you get the idea to hit four? Ask public to be quiet for a bit and and close the last one. Ah, uh, that's uh, in this morning, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really satisfied with uh, how it went and that I went clean on the final shooting. Perfect. And you know the the experts describe zone when the supreme focus matches the goals, and other greats, Jordan, like said, the basket is as big as whole. How would you describe the zone? you are in for most part of this season yeah it's uh yeah you really focused uh, 24 hours uh, every day 24 7 uh, and always like you, you you try to do your best every day in every hour of the day uh, even though it's monday or tuesday and the race is friday you try to make the best out of it and uh, it's like if you want to win the world cup overall it's a long run so you have to be uh, yeah, calm and uh, yeah, ready to to fight in the head because if you give yourself like one moment of break, it can destroy everything. So try to keep the momentum high every day and uh, yeah, don't don't look at the end. Just look at the today and take one day at a time. And there was one moment in Oberhof when people were going crazy about your potential seven medals, and you said. Having a beautiful wife and a healthy kid is a proper success. How much is this uh, a rock of your success, the family, which seems very important to you? Yeah, I think it's like two different lifestyles, being a top athlete uh, on the road and being home with a family and having a three years old. Uh, so I think it can both be a weakness uh, and a strength because weakness during training, uh, during summer, it's, it's more hard to get um, the time you need to recover and relax because the day is always full. Uh, my son needs my attention and, and uh, yeah, we cannot go and sleep for one, two hours like we can in the World Cup. So it's like uh, when I come to the winter, I, uh, yeah, you almost turn off family life and you are on the travel for three weeks at a time and, and yeah, the, it's even more easy to recover and, and yeah, you, save, you save up all the days during summer to just kick ass in the winter. And you've made two very big decisions in the past few years. Once was you took time off, obviously for Gustav's birth. And last year, you just finished the season after Beijing. How good would you say you know your energy levels and how your body responds to certain level of stress? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm an athlete that can go a lot of races and uh, having a lot of precious, um, pressure over time. Uh, but yeah, when you want to win the overall score every year, uh, it's a mental thing and uh, it takes the best out of you and doing it many years in a row, it's, it's quite hard. So last year I had the chance to, to give myself a break and uh, even though you have a break after each season, it, uh, the summer training is coming quite fast and uh, yeah, I get the time now to, to uh, yeah, get the, it really out of the system. And uh, I, yeah, it's like I was starting on scratch again uh, and I, uh, the problems I had last year, it's, I didn't find them when I started to train. And hopefully that was because of the long break that I forgot about the wrong mistakes I did. And there was one, the last question, there was one, uh, one moment here last season when Kenten got the, the big low and you came to congratulate him, but you also said, see you next season, <laughs> I'm getting this back. When did you decide, because we saw your um, famous beast at home, it seemed you went even deeper in the summer, this summer. Yeah, I think the preparation was uh, a little bit better this year. Uh, but not that big a difference. Uh, but the motivation was uh, extremely strong. And 
yeah, I felt like myself in the Olympic Games and I thought, okay, now I'm back. Just take a break now and, and next season will be yours. So I really believed in it and uh, yeah, I believe it can take you all the way. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Cantani, it was a perfect race today with 2020. Can you just take us through the race? You felt very composed. How was it? <laughs> it was a very good race for me and a lot of emotion. Uh, not during the race, but uh, to, it's a very tough uh, season uh, for me. And, uh, you know, a new podium for me, it's like a victory. Uh, it's a very good thing for me. And, uh, yeah, it's clean shooting. Uh, it's my goal uh, today and also for uh, two days ago in the sprint. I want really clean shooting because I'm not sure about my shape on the ski. And uh, if I want to expect something, I need to clean shooting. And that's uh, what I do today. And uh, especially on the last shooting because uh, Stuart I missed one. And I at this moment, there is an opportunity to take the second place. And uh, that's uh, finally uh, at second place. And uh, yeah, very good uh, in, in the end of the season with uh, the public and uh, the great atmosphere. Good condition and perfect. You mentioned yourself it's a difficult season for you. You contracted COVID on top uh, in Nove Mesto. So how did you bounce back and found the last probably reserves to come to Oslo? Uh, you know, uh, until the, um, the last season, uh, I have some problem to uh, work very about the last season. It was very, very... Uh, I don't understand what is exactly the reason, but you know, uh, I, uh, I, my body was so tired and uh, I uh, don't feel so much during the preparation, but uh, when I start the season, I feel it's uh, hard to recovery, hard to go fast on the ski, hard to be focused on the shooting range. Then uh, it's, uh, you know, I learn a lot about this season because uh, it's, uh, I need to find uh, another solution to work, work very well, faster, and uh, to find some other solution to be fast on the ski and, and uh, try to be clean shooting. Then, uh, yeah, it's very tough, tough race for me and uh, very happy to be back on the podium. But uh, right now I uh, also... <laughs> I start to be focused uh, about the next and find a solution to be better on the, better on the, on the next season. But can you also say, because your last season was such a phenomenal, with Olympic triumph, uh, total score triumph, you were the man of the season. Can you tell us about the emotional, probably it's euphoric, but also emptiness which comes after such extreme highs that you had last season? Uh, you know, uh, a lot of media uh, told me uh, ab uh, at the end of the last season, be careful about the big season like this. Uh, it can be hard. Uh, most of the sportsmen have some difficulty to start again about the motivation and maybe uh, too much tired. And uh, I want to say at this moment uh, of all of the media, I can be find some solution to stay on this uh, direction, this way. And finally, you know, <laughs> I uh, I have the, some problem after the the big season. Then uh, it's hard to to know because it's uh, for me all new situation, more solicitation. I try to to show uh, which one is the best and uh, take take time and take pressure about this good result, but also uh, keep focus uh, for the new season. It's hard to find a, a good way. It's uh, for me all new, and um, you know, uh, I have. My project of sport, it's more important. I have more solicitation I also from uh, family and free time. And all of this, it's hard to put uh, in, uh, in uh, one season. And uh, maybe I mi I'm missing some time for my recovery. And, uh, but I learned about this. I will be better, better for next season. Did you talk uh, about the issues you just mentioned with Martin? Because he had similar season in Pyeongchang won everything, good Olympics, great Olympics, total score, and then he had a difficult season after. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this, not especially uh, last season, but uh, I know, I, I feel it uh, mm -hmm. when I was with Martin in, uh, at this moment. And um, it's hard to feel because uh, you, 
it's hard to learn about this situation because it's it's totally new and uh, we feel it. But you know, uh, last season when I, Martin told me uh, be careful about the media. Uh, you know, uh, media it's few interviews. It's uh, I don't need so much energy. But finally, one more, one more, one more. It uh, ne it's necessary to have a lot of energy and uh, you know it's uh, hard to feel. But uh, you need to learn. It's. Uh, it uh, that we call experience. <laughs> Extremely well done today. Thank you. Congratulations. Sturla, it's the first podium after Oberhof, and one can see is that you're still not completely sure about energy levels. Can you tell us about bouncing back from COVID and still fighting here? It's still it's second time top six. Yeah, it's. Um I mean, I, I talked with the guys before the weekend and I said that I'm really, really eager to have one more podium at least before the season ends. And I was unsure because COVID didn't really help my shape. I was uh, not where I wanted to be in Östersund and also the sprint here in, in Holmenkollen was uh, a bit uh, tougher than expected. But today everything is much better and uh, yeah, I am finally where I want to be in the shape. And uh, also with the shooting, 19 hits, I'm, uh, I'm super happy that I can claim another podium and uh, yeah, complete this. Uh, the season with the podium in Holmkoll. How did you build your race? We knew somehow Johannes still is in the shape, which is almost unbeatable, but there was four, five, six guys who are quite in similar shape right now. For example, Kenten told us he's not sure he needs to hit everything to be competitive. Yes, uh, it's a bit special race uh, when Johannes has this big gap in front. It's almost like we only compete for the second and third place. Uh, it has been like this the whole season. And uh, yeah. if, if, the, if Johannes misses a lot in the front, we can maybe catch him. But for me, the only focus was to do my best race uh, and not uh, be stressed about the position and who is behind, who is in front. Uh, so I was able to ski uh, four quite uh, evenly paced uh, loops. and. Uh, also the shootings, I had enough energy in my head to, to do well and um, of course in the last shooting uh, with one mistake, uh, it's not perfect but uh, yeah, I'm happy I managed to refocus and hit the last ones uh, and only ending up with one mistake in the last shoot. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the job I do today and uh, also in the last loop uh, I had 10 seconds or something up to, to Quanta and 20 down to Benny and uh, of course I tried to catch Quanta but um, it was a bit too much, so uh, all in all, I'm just happy that uh, I ended up in third place and um, yeah, another good race by me. And by anybody's standards, you've had a phenomenal season. It's 15th podium, five medals at World Championships. How would you sum it up? Also your progress, your internal feelings about your progress. Yes, uh, I mean, uh, I still feel like my, my curve, uh, like in my career, is still pointing upwards. And I did a great work last summer with the training and I felt strong, I felt better. And uh, this season, I really see the fruits of that. Of course, Johannes is so good that he's overshadowed what I've done, but uh, I'm really proud of what I've done so far with all the podiums and uh, yeah. Such a strong and stability uh, with the level, um, and I, I mean, it just feels like uh, I have more to give, and uh, I will work even harder next year. And uh, uh, also, when Johannes says he is going to get another kid, I think there will be more opportunities to catch him. So yeah, I'm really motivated. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.